Hey everyone, hope you are doing well uh, on this day. Want to give a few people a moment to jump on here on Periscope. Really want to share something with you that is on my heart uh, on this evening. So I want to give a few people a moment to jump on Periscope. Hey, uh, if you would be so kind, there is a, a little a little uh, button at the bottom uh, with three dots. If you share this, I really want to uh, share something with you that I believe is extremely meaningful. And I want to I want to hop right in so that people can catch up and catch it on replay uh, if they need to do it later. Hey, I was in prayer. Uh, and as I was in prayer, the Lord was talking to me about me. He wasn't even talking to me about you, but he was talking to me about me. But I want to share with you uh, what he shared with me, uh, because I believe that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So whatever you hear, uh, you are able to attach your faith on to. I heard the Lord tell me in prayer uh, today, uh, Nelson, do your thing. He said, do your thing. And I and, and I knew what he was talking about. He took me to uh, Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse number eight. The Bible says in the beginning part of that verse, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. And so he was in essence telling me, Nelson, you got to start something. I want to encourage you tonight uh, to start something. That's my very first point. Start something. Let me give you the definition of start. The definition of start means to come into being or to commence uh, or my definition to move from a thought to a thing, to move from a thought to a thing. You got to understand uh, that whatever starts, uh, let, let me make sure I say it right. You got to move it from a thought to a thing. Everything uh, that exists started with a thought. Everything that exists started with a thought. So so the very fact that I'm able to, to talk to you tonight or on a camera, on a phone, somebody had the thought that one day this fellow named Nelson, who goes by Pastor Nye, is going to want to talk to people and be recorded. And so they, they created this thing. It started as a thought, but in order for it to have gotten finished, it first had to have gotten started. They had this thought that, hey, I got to create this uh, this this thing that's able to record him. And I've got to create this app that's able to communicate with people all over the world from one location. And so Periscope thus was uh, invented. So everything that exists started with a thought. So when God tells you to do your thing and you hear the scripture, uh, better is the end of a thing uh, than the beginning, you've got to know then that God never starts anything that he's not already finished in his mind. Whatever starts in your world and in your life, God has really already finished it in his mind. So it is, there are several things I want to tell you about starting. The first thing is, as I want to encourage you to start something, whatever that thing is that God has placed in your, your mind, in your heart, that will bless people, that will bless your family, that will bless your neighborhood or your co-workers, you got to do that thing. And I know you're thinking, well, maybe it is, because I don't know if you're like me, but there are some things that God challenges me to do that I don't feel uh, like I am adequate to do it. I don't feel as though I have the intelligence to do it. I don't always have the strategies to do it. Truth be told, I don't even have the competence to do it. But I recognize that if God challenged me to start it, he's not going to let me fall on my face. He is not going to let me fail. So, so the first thing is, I want to encourage you, start something. With that in mind then, I want you to start something with the understanding that it is better to start and fail, then fail to start any day. I think I'll say it again. It is better to start and fail than fail to start 
any day. Sometimes people don't start things because they're thinking, well, it's not the right time. It's not the right moment. How do I know the right time? How do I know the right moment? Well, let me help you. Here, start here. This is the place. This is the place. The right time, start now. I know it is the fifth month of our year, and no matter when you see this, whether you play it by replay, whether you see it on YouTube, the word is still going to be valid. That here is always a great place to start, and now is always a great time. I want to challenge you, and one of my, I'll be transparent with you, that oftentimes uh, I have not started things and I've delayed things because I could not see the end from the beginning. I, I, I would share with the Lord, as I probably am sharing with the Lord some things right now, hey, I don't have the resources to get that done. I don't have the team to get that done. I don't have the money to get that done. I don't have the name or the credit to get that done. And I'm, give, I'm being transparent about myself. I don't know if that is your situation, but I'm, I'm being transparent about about myself, but this is what I understand about God. I know about God, hey little sister, I know about God that if I have the mind to get it started, that God has the means to get it finished. I think I'll say it again. I have learned about God that if I have the mind to get it started, that God has the means to get it finished. So start something, start here, and start now. I want to encourage you. I've got one more for you about starting. You've got to understand that whatever starts small won't stay small. I think I'll say it again. Whatever starts small won't stay small. So it is, I want to share with you and, and, and put it in perspective for you. Do you know that the largest thunderstorm starts with a single raindrop? Are you aware that the largest snowstorm starts with a single snowflake? Are you cognizant of the fact, as it's been said, it's an old uh, Chinese proverb, I believe that, and I paraphrase that the journey of a thousand steps or a thousand miles starts starts with a single step, I want to encourage you to start something and recognize that before it can become big, grand, and have the impact that it is supposed to have in society, in your family, in the kingdom of God, whatever your audience is, is that you've got to start somewhere. Here is always a great place. You got to start sometime. Now is always a great time. And this is what I really heard the Lord say, that if you will do your thing and you will start, that you will tell God, Lord, there are no more delays. So as I'm talking to you, I'm really talking to myself, that there could be no more delays. There can be no more distractions. You might not know the end from the beginning, but you've got to be confident in the scripture. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. It may be rocky in the start. It may be rocky in the middle, but you're going to wind up okay. You're going to end and all right. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. So no more delays, no more distractions, and no more denial. Things that have been impeding your progress, God said, I will move them out of the way if you will just take advantage of this moment. I want, I'm done with my notes, but I want to talk to you for a moment because I believe that God is building your faith in this moment. God is building your faith in this moment because faith is always in the now. I want to talk about now just for a second because I think that's a key word. Now is the time. Now is always always in the present. Now is always current. Now is always in this moment. Now is always cutting edge. And so what God is challenging you to do is move the thoughts from your mind to manifest into things that are in really in existence. You got to get that out of your mind because what is in you is no good to you or others if you don't get it out of you. Let me say it again. What is 
in you is no good to you if you don't get it out of you. So in the name of Jesus, I call forth that thing that you have delayed, that you have actually denied yourself out of, things that you've talked yourself out of, that God has already talked you into. In the name of Jesus, we bind and we cast out fear. I cast out doubt. I cast out trepidation. I cast out unbelief. I cast out excuses. I cast out uh, reasons and and self-sabotage. And I release the spirit of faith. I release the force of faith. I release the gift of faith. I release the realm of faith to do what you never thought you could have done, to say what you thought you couldn't say, to go where you thought you could not go and to be where you thought you could not be. In the name of Jesus, if you are willing to start where you are, God says start here. God says start now. God says that whatever starts small won't stay small. He's just waiting to grow it, but you've got to sow it. You better hear what I'm telling you. He's waiting to grow it. You've got to sow it. Where do you have to sow it? Here. When do you have to sow it? Now. Hey, there was a sense of urgency. People are waiting on what you have to offer. Your miracle is in your mouth. Your change to destiny is already in your hands. God has already placed it in your heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Hey, I want you to do me Uh, I want you to do me a couple of few favors. One, I want you to make sure that you share this with somebody else on Periscope and really encourage them uh, to watch this. Uh, Two, uh, I want you to start something. I want you to do what the Lord told me. Do your thing. Uh, And three, I want us to come back together sooner than later so we can share testimonies uh, with one another uh, about the fact of us starting something and starting something uh, absolutely Amazing. Hey, continue to walk by faith uh, until the next time. This is Pastor Now. Be blessed.